Hi everyone, in this video we're going to prove that the constant function is continuous. In this example, x and y are topological spaces, so we're going to use the topological definition of continuity in this problem. So let me briefly recall what it means for a function to be continuous when you have topological spaces. So we say a function f from x to y is continuous, so continuous, and first let me um, say it in words. Basically, whenever you take an open subset of y, the inverse image of that subset under f is open in x. So let me write that down. If for every open o, I'll call it o, contained in y, we have that the inverse image of O under F is open in X. So this is open in, in X. So that's the topological definition of continuity. Um, so what is this? So let me recall, this is the inverse image of O under F. This is the set of all of the elements X in capital X such that f of x is actually an element in O. So it's a set of all x's that get mapped to O. So in other words, f takes those x's and sends them to y values that live inside O. So we're gonna use this. We actually need this in the problem in this proof. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need this. So let's go through it. I have kind of looked at the problem before making this video, but I didn't work it out completely and why time, and I wanna make sure that I explain it in a way that hopefully you understand. So we'll start by assuming that it is a constant function, that we have a constant function, and x and y are topological spaces. So let's write that down. So suppose that f from x to y is constant, say, let's define it by f of x equal to c. And this will be for all x in capital X. And also uh, assume, you know, x and y are topological spaces. x and y are topological spaces. I probably should have said that first, but too late. <laughs> so topological spaces. And again, you know, if, if, you're, if you're writing out a formal proof, you're supposed to say something like this. You're supposed to start by, you know, writing down your, your hypothesis. You know, you, maybe you can say, let x and y be topological spaces. Suppose it's a constant function. Okay, so now we have to prove that this is continuous. So we'll start by taking an open subset of y. So I'll say, so take any open O contained in y. And so now we just have to look at this set and show that it is open. And if we do that, we have proven that the function is continuous, which is our goal. So note, let's actually investigate and see what this looks like. So the inverse image of O under F, it's also called the, the pre-image. This is equal to, let's carefully write it out, it's the set, okay? It's all of the X's in capital X such that f of x is in O, right? That's the, that's the definition of the inverse image. We haven't done anything except write down the definition. Okay, so what is this? This is equal to the set of all x, in capital X. So f of x is the constant function. So f of x is equal to c. So c is in O, so it's the set of all x's such that C is an O. But what is this? Well, it actually depends. So check this out. This is going to be a piecewise. You can write this in pieces. So if C is actually an O, so if C is an O, right, there's two cases, either C is an O or C is not an O. So if C is an O, then this is always true. So it's just the whole space, right? Because we know that F of X is equal to C for all X and X. If C is not an O, so if it's not an element in O, then this is never true, so this is the empty set. So 
The inverse image of O under F is either the entire space or the empty set, both of which are open in capital X, because capital X is a topological space. So in either case, in either case, the inverse image of O under F is open in X, right? The empty set in any topolo in any topology, the empty set and the entire space are always open in that space. They're always members of the topology. So in either case, F inverse of O is open in X. So we started with any arbitrary open subset of Y, and we showed that the inverse image of O is open in X. That is exactly what it means for a function to be continuous from a topological standpoint. So we have proven that this function is continuous. So thus, F is continuous. And I like to finish my proofs uh, with a box with an X. It's just something I, I took from someone else. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who is trying to learn topology. It's, it's a really tough subject for people to learn. Uh, just don't give up. Take your time and take care.